it is known that Esther has said on many occasions, I love this school. For the record, Esther, the Streetsville community also loves you. Aww. Graduating class of 2016, here is your valedictorian, Esther Chu. friends, family, faculty, <laughs> distinguished guests, and of course, Streetsville Secondary School's class of 2016. Wow, look at us go. We look pretty good, if I do say so myself. We started from the very bottom, now the whole team's here. <laughs> I am honored to be here tonight to represent my fellow graduates and to applaud and congratulate four years worth of accomplishments at Streetsville. Now I will admit, like many of you, at first I was not too fond of the idea of having commencement in October rather than in the spring like most other schools. The thoughts of having to come back all the way to Mississauga, of having to book a train ticket, of leaving my new friends and my new community were fairly unwelcoming. But looking out at all of you here tonight, I have changed my mind. It feels almost surreal to be able to walk through these very same, very narrow halls once again just like we did in grade nine. Try and think back all the way to September 2012. The frenzy of trying to find your friends in the crowd and the disappointment of realizing you had none of the same classes. Remember all those times running to the bus stop, right out there, at the end of the day, as soon as the bell rang? Oh wait. <laughs> Rushing to catch the nine or the 313, like almost every other student in the school. But oh how things change over four years. Instead of standing in clumps that blocked the entire hall, in our senior year, most of us were seen striding solo down the halls with a very frustrated look on our faces while wearing sweatpants for the eighth time that week. <laughs> and instead of rushing to catch the bus, we rushed to our cars parked all the way down on Jocelyn in order to get, <laughs> in order to, get to our long shifts at our part-time jobs. Now while we have changed drastically over the years, there are some people in our lives who have remained constant. Yeah. Needless to say, none of us would be here today without the never-ending support from our parents, families, and loved ones. Whether it was dropping you off at the Kiss and Ride in elementary school, or attending each and every single one of your concerts in middle school, even if you really weren't that good and you didn't want them there, they were still always there for you. As the years went on, it was those same people who would drop you off in time for 6.45 a.m. basketball practice, or pick you up at 4.30 p.m. after rugby. They tried their best to help us with our homework, even if they had no clue how to speak French or what Y equals MX plus B meant. For many of us, our parents have even altered the entire courses of their lives to ensure that we would get a good education and that we would be successful. Would you join me in giving these incredible people a huge round of applause? And do you know who else are incredible? Our teachers are pretty incredible. <laughs> They're the ones who helped us discover our passions that we're now pursuing. They're the ones who helped you realize that business truly is unbelievable. <laughs> or that chemistry is real. <laughs> Not only were they our teachers in the classroom, they often made themselves available for extra help at lunches or after school. They gave up their time to coach us, even if the entire team was complaining that it was too cold outside. They became our mentors and our friends. In grade 12, we bombarded them with questions about the future, and we often had the awkward conversation with them that started something like, so, sir, I need an 80% in this course to get into university. <laughs> they wrote our reference letters and they signed our scholarship applications. We will never fully be able to thank them for the time they've invested in our lives but let's join together in celebrating these incredible educators. <laughs> to my fellow French Immersion graduates, félicitations, c'est bien ça. 
12 années d'immersion est un accomplissement énorme. J'espère que vous n'oubliez jamais les choses que ce programme nous a appris et que vous n'oubliez jamais Télé Français ou Monsieur Anana non plus. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I'll let you in on a little secret. Even though we're graduating with a French Immersion Certificate tonight, most of us still don't know whether a call is feminine or masculine. <laughs> To say that these past four years would be easy would be a lie. I'm sure our parents, families, and teachers could attach the blood, sweat, and tears we put into our time at school. Those awful B tests that we hated. The tears that were shed after that first breakup. The stress of having absolutely no clue how to solve a trick identity. All of those all my years spent writing essays, the 2 a.m. Skype call trying to plan a meeting or a presentation for the next day. Maybe there were times of depression or self-doubt, loss or heartbreak. The inability to fall asleep because the anxiety was just too much to handle. The fear of letting our loved ones down or the fear of letting yourself down. But guess what? We made it. And we did it together. <laughs> Amongst us tonight are some of the smartest, kindest, coolest, and most talented people you will ever meet. In this room are future entrepreneurs, leaders, musicians, plumbers, doctors, social workers, lawyers, engineers, athletes, moms, dads, photographers, accountants, auto technicians, and teachers. Maybe you wanted to go to McGill since you were in the ninth grade, or maybe your decision was to go into the workforce, or maybe your decision to go to university or college at all was a last minute one. Maybe you're in a new city, or you're the only one from Treatsville at your new school, or maybe your best friend lives on the other side of the province now. Whatever your situation is, I'm so proud of you. Your parents and families are proud of you. Your teachers and administration are proud of you. And I truly, truly hope that you're proud of yourself. You made it through four years of hard work, and now you're moving on to bigger and brighter things. I mean, come on, you made it through four years of no air conditioning. <laughs> Whether student or parent, graduate or staff, young or young at heart, to close their eyes. I need you to imagine some of your favorite moments of high school. And here are just some ideas. Maybe it was the moment your team won Roxa in this very gym and you knew you were headed to Opta. Maybe it was taking a final bow after a concert, play, improv performance, or talent show. Maybe it was raising over $10,000 for the Terry Fox Foundation over four years. For some of you, it may be getting 100% on that ISU that you worked way too hard on. For others, it may be simply passing a test you weren't so sure about. Maybe it was taking a really sick grad picture with your dog, or your squad, or the principal. <laughs> Maybe it was discovering a new passion for fitness and leading a healthy lifestyle and being confident in yourself. Maybe it was prom, or something that happened after prom. <laughs> spent on Osmos and Burrito Boys and Tim Hortons. Sorry about that. Whatever your favorite moments are, they're going to stay with you for the rest of your life, so cherish them. So in the class of 2016, I say, congratulations, we're done. And whether you're now a Griffin or a Marauder, maybe a Bruin or a Gigi or a Mustang, or maybe, <laughs> or maybe you've entered the workforce so you're taking a year off, you will never forget the days of being a tiger. Those days of walking out onto the field wearing that terribly unflattering bright orange gym shirt. <laughs> and I'm going to end with some words that we have heard far too many times in our years here, but you probably actually never stopped and listened to the words or realized how applicable they are to our situations. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. Went the distance, now I'm back on my feet. Just a man and his will to survive. So many times it happens too fast. You trade your passion for glory. Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past. You must fight to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Thank you.